Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to connect to the BL Heli 32 software th with any ESC. So it does not matter what ESC as long as it's BL Heli 32, you can connect to the software and do whatever you need to it. Now, um, most flight controllers, the 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 new software is still a beta and um, it's still kind of buggy here and there. So. Uh, some of the older software still does not connect to the BL Heli 32 pass through so this would be the way to actually connect to it until the software is completely ready for the flight controllers and it's very simple it's it's not even scary at all so the first step is to grab your Arduino board you need to get an Arduino Nano I'll leave a link in the description below you can get a bunch of these for very cheap so uh, all we need to do is solder two wires to the ground and D3 D3 would be signal and then the ground is ground so we grab our, flat, our ESC. So I'm grabbing here the Racer Star. Now you might ask why didn't I get the Airbot Wrath or the IP Guz or anything? Just because this has the possibility to become better, and I'm planning on making this into a series. The next episode will be us actually changing the settings and retesting this guy and seeing if we can get better results through the oscilloscope. So I'm very curious. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if active mo active braking is on or off. I have no idea what to expect. Maybe if it's on, we can make it better by dropping down the active braking. So it'll be very interesting. And then we'll also later on jump into you know the motor timing, changing it from auto to uh, low to mid high to all those kinds of crazy stuff to see if that affects efficiency, performance, you know, thrust and torque, and all that kind of good stuff. So let's begin. Now let's take it into perspective. Most of you probably have these on your quads already. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove the ground and your signal. And ground is very important. You have to remove, you have, if you have cut it off, you need to re-solder a ground here. Or just solder a ground to the flight controller. So we're going to need the ground and we're going to need the signal. So you would desolder these two off your, flight, off your flight controller or your PDB from your quad. And then you would grab the Arduino board. And then we would solder the signal to D3 and the ground to ground. So... I'm already doing it like this, so this would be my signal right here. So this pretended like I took it from my flight controller, and now I'm plugging it in, uh, soldering it into the uh, Arduino here, and this is ground. So now this is connected. This will get power through the USB because you're going to be connecting through the USB to the ESC. However, now I do recommend you remove your props off your off your uh, quad because we're going to need to supply this power. So you would need to connect your battery into your quad now um, if this was connected to your quad. So this would get power and then this will get its power from the USB to be able to flash it. So first step now, after we've done all this, we need to connect this guy to the PC, wait for it to download its drivers. And then you need to download the BL Heli 32 software. I'll leave a link in the description below. And then we're going to flash this guy first. And then we can connect to the uh, ESC. So let's get that done. So first, obviously, you just need to connect this guy. Uh, don't supply power to the ESC just yet. So just connect this guy. And we're going to jump on the PC right now and show you how to flash the software for this guy. Alright guys, so first you want to see where you uh, got the file, the VL Health 32 and unextracted and then now uh, we need to just uh, open the program. Uh, this is the VL Health 32 software and just wait for it to load. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to flash the Arduino. So we're going to go into make interface and then we go to that bottom one right there. Make sure we have the co correct con selected. And then you want to pick the multi hex and then yes and just wait for it to flash so if everything goes good we should get successful and there we go press ok all right and then here we're going to be connecting through the uh, four-way all right now let's go back to the bench all right, now the software is done. We need to supply power, which is connecting your battery to your quad or supply it manually. If you have it unconne not connected like me, I'm gonna supply it through a battery, through some alligator clips from my battery to that. And um, connect this to the PC. And let's see what's the next step here. 
All right, so once everything's connected, the Arduino to the PC, you want to go to the four-way interface and then make sure you got the correct COM, press connect. And don't forget, you have to make sure you have the uh, power going to the ESC. And there we go, read successfully. Connect and just read setup and uh, that's all you got to do. So as we can see, break on stop is off by default and we got the beacon strength, ram up power. So here is all our settings. So hopefully we'll be taking this uh, a little bit further next time. As you can see, I just turned on break on stop and then we'll be retesting it in the next episode, uh, this Razor Star and see if it makes a difference, if it makes it worse or it makes it better. All right, guys, and that's it. It's just that simple. I mean, there, there's really nothing to it. So all we needed is just two wires, a ground and a D3, and just connect this guy, flash them, and then just connect. That's it. So don't forget, you need power for the ESC, and other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Soon the pass-through will come through with the flight controller softwares from Betaflight, but till then, this is the way to actually do this here. So mm, that's really it. It's just that simple so you're gonna need an Arduino board here and that's it. any Arduino board will work a mini uh, the big ones the mini ones I just have a bunch of nanos so I just use the nano here and it's a lot of people just use nanos and just because it has the USB interface here which makes your life easier the mini or the micro doesn't come with a USB so that'll be a bit of a pain to actually uh, get it connected so um, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys did like this, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys want me to continue with this and play with the settings and actually test thrust and all this kind of crazy stuff and see how it affects the ESCs. And uh, we'll do other ESCs also once uh, uh, we begin this process. Like, I'll do the AirBots, I'll do the iPikas, uh, we'll do the um, Little B Summers, all these new BL Heli 32 ESCs. We'll see if uh, the settings do actually make a difference and, and all that kind of crazy stuff, like the efficiency and thrust, torque, and um, and noise as well. So and As well as voltage drops and voltage spikes, since those are pretty important as well. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped you out there. And if you guys did like it, just leave a comment. Let me know. I'll continue on with this. And if you guys have any suggestions, also just feel free to let me know. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys.